Grammar 3 for Level 3 students. Unit 9. Models. Part 1. Basic Modal Introduction. Modal Auxiliaries. Modal Auxiliaries generally express a speaker's attitudes. For example, models can express that a speaker feels something necessary, advisable, permissible, possible, or probable. And in addition, they can convey the strength of those attitudes. Each model has more than one meaning or use. These are the examples of modal auxiliaries. Will, can, could, may, might, must, should, ought to, have to, has to, etc. Models do not take a final S. Even the subject is he, she, it, or a third person singular number. See the examples. He can drive a car. In this sentence, after the modal, the main verb has a final S. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence is, he can drive a car. In the sentence, after the modal, the verb doesn't take a final S. Even the subject is he, a third person singular number. Another example, Ali can drive fast. In this sentence, after the modal, the verb drive has a final S. The sentence is incorrect. The correct one, Ali can drive fast. In this sentence you see, after the modal, the verb is a simple form of a verb. It doesn't take a final S, even the subject is a third person singular number. Modals are immediately followed by the simple form of a verb. See the example. The cheetah can run fast. In the sentence after the modal, the verb is in the past form. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence is, the cheetah can run fast. After the modal, the verb is in the simple form. See another example. He could write nicely. In the sentence, after the modal, the verb has a final S, and even the modal is in the past form. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence is, he could write nicely. The modals are immediately followed by the simple form of a verb. The only exception is, or to, which is immediately followed by an infinitive, to, and the simple form of a verb. See the example. The student ought to arrive before the exam. The sentence is incorrect because after the modal, the verb has a final S. The correct sentence is, the student ought to arrive before the exam. Here, after the modal, there is an infinitive, to, and the simple form of the verb. Another example. Ali ought to did the homework. Here, the verb is in the past form, after, to, so the sentence is incorrect. The correct one is, Ali ought to do the homework. After to, the verb should be in the simple form.